Rachel, in response to the casting of Matt James as the first uh, black man to ever be appointed The Bachelor, you tweeted that you felt it was a knee-jerk reaction and a result of pressure. What do you want to see happen there? Because I know that you also wrote a really explicit point-by-point -point, uh, list of suggestions to the producers for things they can be doing. What do you want to see happen? Yeah, the, I, I'm, I'm excited that there's a black bachelor. I just want to say that. But I hated the timing of it because it does seem like a reaction to what is happening in our country. Did a man have to die in such a public way on a national stage for you to say now is the time for us to have a black bachelor? That's what I hate. It's taking away from this moment. What I wanted was some acknowledgement and some recognition that they've been wrong and part of the problem and that they're going to vow to take the necessary changes to pr bring diversity internally and to, the, and to more contestants of color on the show. Did you hear from the producers after your blog post that recommending specific actions that they can take? I did. And they told me that they heard me and that they are wanting to do more and to make changes. And they actually did release a statement after they announced him saying that they been on the wrong side of this and that they're vowing to make changes internally and to have more contestants of color. There was a moment there where I thought Cory Booker was going to be the first black bachelor. <laughs> That would have been Senator, great. were you ever approached, Senator? Ne never, <laughs> ever, ever approached. <laughs> never approached. Would you have accepted that rose? Hell no. <laughs>